Hey guys, today we are here at the AMC at Altamont Mall and we are here to see Black Phone. Universal made an announcement yesterday that Black Phone is going to be a part of Halloween Horror Nights. So we're here to check out the movie. So come on and join us. We like to get here early enough to see all these movies and stuff. Or not movies, but previews. The movie thing's pretty cool. You ready to be scared? Yep. We're shooting this all on our phone, by the way. Um, but we're not going to show you the actual movie because that's illegal. But um, we will give you our thoughts and react to the movie once it's over. Hey guys, uh, just coming to you today real quick with a review of Black Phone. I know a lot of you guys had uh, written us on Instagram and in the comments and said that you really wanted to see uh, the movie and wanted to know what our thoughts was on that. And I put up a poll asking if you guys wanted to see us do a review. So we're going to do a review here. Um, just simple, fast, nothing fancy. I thought the movie was great. Um, it's very creepy, very scary. Um, Ethan Hawke is amazing. I love everything that Ethan Hawke does. Uh, he's so good. Like, just everything that he does is just so good. And um, the kid, I forget the kid's name, but the main kid, uh, he was Finn. awesome. Finn was the name of the character. Um, was just great. Uh, I absolutely loved him. And then Jeremy Davies playing the dad was so cool. Um, I know him from Lost. Um, I know he's been in other things too, but man, it was just so good. And he had that 70s mullet cut, which was funny. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I think it was really good. Now, a couple of you guys had asked me like what I thought about the plot and how it was going to work out with it being children that was the target and if that was going to be like something that uh that you know was disturbing for me it it didn't bother me that much um it did me because being a mom yeah and you think about your own children mm -hmm. and it's like oh man it just yeah. like hits you right in the heart yeah um, but I think it just didn't bother me as far as, like, I didn't think they went too far with the violence, wouldn't you say? No, I mean, there was some. There was violence, but not violence but not, on kids, like, real bad it, violence on kids. It didn't really show it that much. Yeah, I didn't think so either. But overall, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. um, it was done well. It was really done well. And, uh... You know, I think it is a um, sensitive subject matter, but I could see this being an amazing house at Halloween Horror Nights, a very scary house at Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Uh, that with Freaky, we watched Freaky last night. It was just okay, it was just decent. I didn't think it was that great, but um, it wasn't something I hated either, but I just didn't think it was the best. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited because it's gonna be a really cool house and uh, the grabber, as they call him in the film, uh, will be scary going around. And uh, I'm not gonna give anything away, but there's one thing, there's one thing that I thought to myself, if they can pull this off, that would be really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Quick review here. We don't normally do this on the channel, but I figured since it was related to Halloween Horror Nights, we would talk about it at least. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. We'll see you in the fog. <laughs>